Hey folks, this is Carla from Rehan Awawa's World of Connections. And I am here to speak with Sham Sayeda Shamsa Batul from Islamabad, Pakistan. And we're going to talk about her life, her work, and her passions, whatever they may be. Having said that, let me remind you that we are sponsored by the Institute of Peace, which is an online organization promoting peace one conversation at a time. Shamsa, can you please introduce yourself? Thank you, Kara, having you. Uh, my name is Shamsa Badul and uh, I am a bioprofession of pharmacist and I was a teacher. I am a, a mother and a housewife. Okay. You were trained as a pharmacist. What, what was your motivation to become a pharmacist? Yes, pharmacy is a very good profession and uh, it's a health related profession and uh, totally about the medicines. And uh, I think it's a backbone of a medical profession. Why do you call it the backbone of the medical profession? Because medicines, uh, without medicines, a medical professional can do nothing. And uh, here goes very research and uh, new uh, things will come and uh, it's a very noble profession. So when you were growing up and going to school, what was it that motivated you to become a pharmacist? Okay, uh, my uncle was a doctor and uh, so I selected the pre-medical and uh, want to be a doctor or some join some medical field. So my brother was also a pharmacist. So I joined the pharmacy profession. Why didn't you go away after your desire to be a doctor? Ah, yes, good. There is a test and I have not qualified that test, oh. medical test. So that was very tough and uh, Maybe my bad luck. Maybe your what? Please say that again. Maybe my bad luck that I was rejected by the med MBBS. Why do you say bad luck? Everything takes you where you're supposed to be. In our country, is a uh, medical profession is like a, you know, a dream, dream. And to become my MBBS doctor is a really dream for everyone. So when I rejected, uh, then I think I I think that I was not lucky. But now I'm I'm happy having subline of medical profession. Okay. And you said that you're a housewife. Do you realize that a housewife is a very, very important job? Yes, it's a very important job and it's a 24 seven job. You are not having free time. Every time is very, you know, busy and uh, it requires a very patience and uh, to brought up the kids is also very uh, tough and as well as very relaxing, same time. Why do you say tough and relaxing? Yes, tough in a sense, uh, because uh, we are live parents, we are doing live experiment. So uh, when you didn't know anything, when you face any problem like uh, parenting. So it's, it, it's tough and relaxing when you see your kids growing and smiling and 
you make make you special then it's relaxing very relaxing can you give me an example of a tough moment as a parent when your kids get ill it's a very tough okay the what kind of illness are you talking about sorry you said when your kids get ill are you talking about a cold or are you talking about something very serious no no not very serious you know when weather change and uh, sometime uh, my daughter got typhoid then that was a tough time for me and uh, when some accidentally uh, hit that it was very hard time tough time but it also gives you lessons and uh, also make your personality when you got in some trouble in some uh, difficult situation okay give me an example because talking about the typhoid is a little difficult do you run into these problems on a daily basis no no <laughs> not daily basis uh once or uh, once a year uh in uh yes not daily basis you're right correct <laughs> okay typhoid you don't get but are there times that maybe your children disagree with you and that causes a problem yes can you give me an example of when your child disagreed with you recently yes it can be a, it's bedtime and your kid doesn't want to go to bed that's an yes. example yes yes uh actually when uh, kids use uh, for a long time mobile right? using and watching uh cartoons and etc to, to take back the tablets and other gadgets it's a very tough and children become angry then i i also become angry so and uh, managing the time so can you give okay you get angry how do the do your kids have a time that they can be on the mobile or do you do you restrict the time no no i i set a time one hour daily and they took more than one hour sometime two hours so then i then i become angry and took back their tablets and gadgets mobiles so that's a tough time to uh, convince the child how that's long it. go on go on finish okay your first moment they become disagree with me so when they disagree with you what do you do yes they agree with me uh no 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 when they disagree they don't agree they don't want you to do what you're saying you're going to do what do you do okay first i uh, talk to them and convince them uh, then what 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 how do you convince them what yes. do you mean when you say convince them let me pretend i'm the child hey mom okay. <laughs> and i've been on my mobile for too long what no. do you do okay you know we have set a criteria we have set a time table so you are now going more taking more time than we have set and is it good can you take more time for the study when can you spend more one or more time for the study okay but mom i'm i'm doing what i want on my 
phone. Can I continue doing it? No, no. I want to, mom. No, th then you will miss your homework. Then how you can manage? Your teacher will complain. Yeah, but my homework's no fun. I want to play on my mobile. No, extra uses of the mobile, it, uh, uh, they're dangerous and rays will come and it will affect on your eyesight, you know. You also have uh, already have glasses. Your eyesight is, uh, my daughter has glasses, okay? So I'm your uh, daughter right now, so it doesn't matter. You're talking to me as if I'm your daughter. Okay. Go on. So, okay. So you will uh, do your homework late and you will sleep late. Then you will be very uh, difficult for me to awake you in the morning. Then it's your last chance. I'm giving you a warning. Then please close and do your homework. I don't want to do my homework. It's math homework. I hate it. When you hated the homework and like this work, you will be not how you become a good man, how you will become a, a big man. You dream like to become a, a, a suppose you your dream is to become a big man, then how you can you have to follow the path. What path? I want to play Candy Crush. Okay, it's very interesting. Okay, you know every every big uh, man, every big uh, person has followed some uh, ways, some stairs. Then how you you want to be a big man, a big person, but you are not following the path. How they become the big person? They were very punctual in their lifestyle. They follow. They obey their parents, and uh, uh, that's why they become. Uh, a uh, big person and you will not obey then you will not uh, follow the path how you will become my dear daughter well you've been saying man so i didn't think you meant me but i still what what is it that i want to become a big man for what do i want to become mom You should be very, you should be a punctual, you know, uh, sometimes you can uh, deviate from your uh, timetables and uh, etc. But, uh, you know, usual, uh, usual uh, uh, timetable, you have to follow the timetable. We have set criteria that uh, one hour is enough for your uh, uh, mobile time. Then, you know, it's two and a half hours. How you will manage, how you will, convince me what do i need to convince you mom i'm a child i can do whatever i want okay if you're tired then stop it and let's play the badminton some physical work uh, uh, game no i want to play on my mobile so what are you going to do okay this is your I'm last one then i become harsh and Say, this is your last warning and then I uh, uh, pull back the mobile and keep it in the lock lock and how long are you going to keep it away from me one in a week in a week I won't be able to play with my mobile yes well, if I get off now, what would happen? Okay, then I will clap. Good, good daughter, good, uh, my dear. And I will uh, be very happy and uh, kiss my daughter. And then we do the work. What work? Homework and uh, some other work. I have to put attention from mobiles to some other work. Ah, uh, well, I'm having problem. 
problems with my math and I don't want to do it. Can you help me with my math? Yes. Okay. So how do you feel now? I'm feeling happy and uh, very uh, confident. And, and what nice is to... make... Okay, what is making you happy? Talking to you, having to you. Why is that making you happy? Because we think that uh, other uh, people, uh, other uh, living in the other countries, uh, we will uh, feel hesitation to talk them. So, to talking with you, I uh, minimize my hesitation, and uh, it's very good. Why were you hesitant? I think it's the first time to talk a foreigner. Ah, so does that make you a little nervous about your your English? Yes. And when you're nervous, what happens to you? I think my accent is not uh, relatable to you. So. Do you think I'm on, do you know that I understand every word you're saying? Yes. So if I understand every word you're saying, is your English good enough? No. no. I have to understand. No, no. You, you, you understand, and I also have to understand. We both have to understand each other language. Are you understanding me now? Yes, I'm understanding you. But before interviewing, I was nervous. Maybe I would be able to understand you or not. But now I'm happy I'm understanding your conversation. Well, before the interview, we spoke privately, correct? Yes. Did you understand what I was saying then at that time? Yes, yes. Did that help relax you? Yes. So do you think I understood you? Yes. What makes you think I understood you? Because uh, what I am giving you the answer, you are picking up and uh, you're making questions from my answers. Right. Am I making questions that make sense? Yes. Give me an example of something you learned. Suppose I said uh, my uh, my daughters uh, angry me, then you said, give me example. And then we uh, you questioned me about that conversation. And how did that make you feel? Yes. No, I asked you, listen to the question. You're doing very well. How did it make you feel when I said, listen, listen? Did you answer the question? Yes, it made me uh, very good. Right. Are you smiling under your mask right now? <laughs> yes, I am smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's necessary to make things difficult? Or should we make it easy to do? No, no, it's easy. What makes it easy?
Tell me something that makes it easy to talk with me. Because uh, you are a very sweet person and uh, very uh, easy. You make uh, me relax and uh, your conversation is very, you know, cool and calm. Okay. What did you learn from this, from doing this interview? Do you understand my question? No, no. Okay. <laughs> when you don't understand, you say, I don't understand. It's okay. We okay. all have that happen. Okay. Okay. Did you learn anything from talking to me today? Yes. What did you learn? I first learned uh, confidence and uh, secondly, some fears are in our minds. In actual, they are not fears. So today I learned this. Okay, what did you learn that makes you feel less afraid? Talking to you, your voice, your uh, sentences and your the way how you are relaxing and how you uh, giving me away so your your style of interviewing is a very very good so it less my fear so your fear is gone are you ready to go out and interview someone you've never interviewed now Yes. Okay. Why are you feeling that way now? What is it that makes you feel confident? Especially you make uh, me proud that uh, a housewife, a mother is a very good job and it energized me. And uh, secondly, you said that uh, uh, if you don't understand, you can say that I don't understand. And it's a very good thing. And, uh, and the way you are talking, that's it. What about the way I'm talking? In a very relaxing way and in a sweet. So you feel good now, right? Yes. I Yes. Great. Is there anything that you want to talk to our audience about before we end this interview? Okay. Uh, Rehan Foundation, I want to uh, learn about the Rehan Foundation and want to be the part of this. So I will uh, advise everyone, uh, please be the part of the Rehan Foundation and explore it. What do you like about Rehan Foundation? Rehan Foundation. I I was uh, following the Sir Rehan Alawala a uh, very long time, and uh, his way inspired me, untraditional ways to teach or to uh, deliver his knowledge, and uh, it's very impressive. It's very what? Say that again. Impressive. What is so impressive? His way of teaching and uh, he's uh, not a greedy person. He's a very, uh, you know, humble and a very down to earth person. That's why I think a gem. He's a gem. He would love to hear that. And what else do you learn? What else do you like about Rehan Foundation? Sorry, I, under uh, I didn't understand. Uh, who introduced me? About it, no, no, no. Who, uh, what 
is something else you like about Rayhan Foundation? Uh, Tell me something that you really like about it. Okay, they teach from the ground uh, root, grassroots level, and uh, from uh, very basics. Okay, do you? So you want to be a part of the foundation? Am I yes. right? Yes. And what is the most important thing that you like about the foundation? Most important thing, uh, the emphasis on the learning of the digital, uh, you know, world. So it's uh, now in the 21st century, it's really important uh, to be learn the digital world, digital devices, and the all things that are changing in, around us. So that's why. Great. Thank you. Do you Thank have you. anything else you want our audience to know? No, I think it's okay. And uh, thank you having you. Well, I want to thank you for talking to me. Can you tell me one more thing about what you love about your kids? Their smiles and uh, they're uh, playing their, uh, you know, when they make me special, when they kiss me, it make me proud. And how old are your kids again? They're 13 and? Nine. Wow. You know, I have a kid's show. They could come to that on Sundays. Okay. And practice English. I want to thank you so much yeah. for talking to me today. I really enjoyed it. And I hope we get to do this again. Okay, same here, same here. And I want to remind you and our audience that this show is sponsored by the Institute of Peace, which is an online organization promoting peace one conversation at a time. And having said that, can we wave goodbye? Bye. Bye, everyone. You don't go anywhere yet. Bye. I'll be back with other interviews. Bye. Oh. Okay, how do you feel now?